Hey guys, this week I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up default tool states. Me and Joe were having a conversation this week about how we like to work and how Cinema has done a really good job setting up an environment for users to work the way they want to work. Here's a good example of what I mean. I tend to always have a null object set by default to be a star and to be green. For me, it's easier to, you know, when I have a giant list of stuff in here, I can always pick out the null object just by the little icon. It's always green. And how you do that is essentially you go in here and you change the display color. Also ch click that guy, it says icon color. And then on here, I change it to point and I change a couple little of these settings here and I set as default. And that way, every time I click a new null object, it always comes in that way. You can do that for a lot of different tools. Let's take the cube, for example. Let's say that every time you create a cube, you want it always to be, let's do white for now, and smaller. You don't, you don't like a big cube. You want to, by default, you want it to be 100, 100. And let's say you always want it to have 20 subdivisions every time you create a new cube. And you always want it to be fillet. So let's say that that's the way you want your default cube to be. Set as default. And now every time I create a new cube, it comes in that way. And this works for a lot of different tools inside of Cinema. Works for all your move tools. You want to set your default states. Let's say you always want it to be set so that it always selects everything instead of select visible. Or let's say you always want it to have modeling access on the Y or however you want it to be set up as your default, you can change it. It also works for deformations, pretty much everything that comes in here can be set up as a default state. I tend to set up my cloner, for example, here's a cloner. I tend to set it up where I always want 10 and instead of by default, it's straight out of the box set to be on the Y. I never use it vertically. I always use it horizontally. I always set it to 100 on X. So every time I create a cloner, it always sets up that way. And that's just my def my default setup for the cloner. That's about it. Leave your questions and comments below. Check us out on workbench.tv.